Yo, yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2003 remake, The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Now, this is one of my favorite remakes. I would even say top five of all time, in my opinion. Our main characters that we're following, Jessica Biel, Jonathan Tucker, Erica, I'm forgetting her last name, and Eric Ballflower, I believe. They all do a pretty good job, and they have nice chemistry together. I can't say the guy's last name, but Andrew Byronarski, the dude playing this Leatherface in the 2003 remake, I think he does a pretty good job playing Leatherface overall. Of course, my favorite version of Leatherface is played by Gunnar Hansen, but I do gotta say that Andrew does a pretty good job, and I might have him as my second favorite Leatherface. The overall kills here are pretty grotesque, I would say that I've seen gorier films for sure, but there's some pretty nasty imagery in here like people getting hung up on the meat hooks, which we've seen before, but just to kick it up a notch by adding salt in the wound quite literally. I would say the freakiest death for me is the guy played by Eric Ballflower. Leatherface sneaks up behind him and hits the hell out of him with the sledgehammer, and we hear this snapping crack that always gets to me with every viewing. Later on, we see Leatherface wearing the face of this character, Kemper. And I always found this to be a freaky image when he turns around and reveals that he's wearing Kemper's face to the girls and they're panicking and freaking out. Pretty well done, in my opinion. But I gotta say, the person that completely steals the show throughout this movie for me is the late, great Arlie Ermey, who I'm a big fan of. I would say the role that he's more known for is Gunnery Sergeant Hartman in Full Metal Jacket, which is my favorite role of his as well. But damn if I will say that this is a very close favorite role of mine from Arlie Ermey. He's absolutely chewing up the scenery with every chance that he gets. He plays a completely murderous, cold-blooded, evil psychopath of a sheriff named Sheriff Hoyt. And we come to find out that he's the adoptive brother of Leatherface and his uncle in the same way, which is pretty fucked up. But Arlie Ermey alone is worth your viewing of this movie. He absolutely steals this film off of its feet, 100%. But wrapping it up, this 2003 version of Texas Chainsaw Massacre is a top five remake for me ever. The original film is still my favorite Texas Chainsaw flick, but this one might be my second favorite right after the original. Then after that, maybe Texas Chainsaw 2 with Dennis Hopper. But I don't really love much after. I'm going to give the 2003 flick Texas Chainsaw Massacre a strong 9 out of 10. There's one documentary that's on the special features on the DVD that always messed me up. And I still find it to be very unnerving and kind of hard to watch at times. It's called The Ghoul of Plainfield. And you can find it on YouTube as well. But we go into the backstory and the mind of Ed Gein for a solid hour. We have psychologists and crime people putting their two cents into why they think that Ed Gein was committing these horrendous crimes. And for those that don't know, Ed Gein was actually a big inspiration on Leatherface and also Buffalo Bill and Silence of the Lambs. This was a messed up subject that I've known for quite a bit. I'm 26, but... I remember seeing this movie for the first time when I was around 12, and I was always big into true crime. If you have the DVD, you might know what I'm talking about with this special feature, this documentary, but still to this day, it shakes me up and it's still unnerving. But that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. What do you think about this remake? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Until next time, I'm on to the next review. Fro, peace. Thank you.